Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And they kick off here. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. How can he take them on and beat them? A well, disappointing end to the move. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Kylian Mbappe. Opportunity in the wide area. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Guerrero. And he's got the beating of his opponent. And the keeper had the measure of it. And there's the delivery. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Dembele. Now Giroud. Well, they have it again. Well, very effective play in possession. Felix. Aurelien Chouameni. Giroud. Intelligent threaded pass here. And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations. 
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. So back underway, having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming and now a free kick. And in the event, just a talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Rabio. Mbappe. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Plenty of support here. Excellent ball over the top. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, as you can see, not much power, but great accuracy. He made that look so easy, didn't he? And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Number 11. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And so it is. The first half story has been written. The ball rolling again. France having already made a big first half statement here. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? Mbappe. Must score! And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Played in by Griezmann and cleared off the line. And support available. Dallo. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense the goal's coming here. Portugal have control of the ball again here. And he keeps going. Ronaldo. Was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball.
Mbappe. On to Silva. And Bernardo Silva has it. Takes the shot. And a decent save. Full credit. So making the substitution now. Playing it in. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Now options are plenty. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. To Ham Coman. Oh, managing to beat him. Real chance. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. And taking it away. Can he find the right pass? Oh, this is looking promising. The real chance. And a fine stop. And up for grabs off the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. And just over the bar. Really good effort. And time for the change now. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Aurelien Chouameni. Now with Turam. And the pass could do damage. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. about it Derek they've been the best team in the tournament And they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them.
and the contest begins 